guys welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be filming this video for you guys today you already know what this video is it is my long-awaited bird haul that i realized right now as i started to film is not very big so like but it has a bird cage involved so that's exciting that's what you guys are waiting on actually that's what i was waiting on but it's fine i'm so excited to film this video for you guys today because i have literally been holding on to this stuff for the past two months waiting for my precious bird cage to arrive that i have searched high and low for there's a whole story with it i'll get into it but i'm so excited to show you guys all the stuff that i have bought for my future bird the bird that i don't have the bird that i love more than anything my precious ghost bird who i don't have yet who i long for so i'm so excited to show you guys everything that i bought i want to show it all to you it's probably not going to be that big of a haul the bird cage is really honestly the thing i was waiting on the most i do want to say this video is strictly a haul and me showing you the cage i'm not going to be going over the cage detail by detail i am going to be doing a cage tour and setup because i have not sat the cage up for said future ghost bird um there's no toys in it there's no perches in it nothing like that um it literally was just assembled which took forever there's a story with that too we're gonna get into all of that but this is basically just a haul of stuff I got and I want to show you the cage itself and tell you a little bit about it and why it took me so long to get it and then there will be another separate video of setting it up stay tuned for that video but I am excited to show it to you guys today okay so let's get started with the bird haul the first thing I'll show you is literally I think the only toy that I got um, I actually got this little toy I don't remember where I got this little toy. It might have been Amazon, actually. I don't remember. Um, but it is a Planet Pleasures toy. I don't have a bird, but they are my favorite bird toys. <laughs> um, I got this little toy because they love the little pinatas and things. And there are always little spots where you can hide seeds. So they're really good for foraging. I know I'm talking really fast. I'll try to slow down. But I just really want to show you guys my cage. So, like trying to get through it but anyway this is a little pinata by planet pleasures these are really popular among little birds and i really just like their toys even though i've never had a bird that's played with them so the next thing that i got you guys are gonna laugh um i actually got an animal clicker so basically this is just a little pet clicker that you can get to put on your hand and then whenever you're doing target training or training with your bird when they do something that you like you can click it and then you give them a treat. Um, I did decide to buy one of these. I was gonna use my tongue and just do the, you know, like a noise, but I feel like this is like louder and if I can't replicate the noise exactly, I just don't wanna stress about my tongue and my noises. So I just got this, okay, I like it. And I wanna do target training. I think that's gonna be one of the best things to start out with. It's a great trust builder with birds. At least I've seen, again, I don't have one. I'm sorry if you guys feel like I talk like I already have my bird. I just like, in my heart I do, so like, leave me alone. But I think this would be really great for training and target training, like with a chopstick or something. And then, especially if your bird is weird about hands or anything like that, you can use it for target training and then click it and then give them the treat and that can build trust. And it can also redirect any aggression. It can redirect their attention and get them to do what you want them to do a little bit. I mean, we all know that birds do whatever they want to do, but you get what I'm saying. It's a great trust builder and also really good for training. So I bought one of these little clickers. Next thing that I got is actually some of this uh, adhesive bandage. This is basically like a medical type bandage, but it is great for putting on perches to keep your bird's feet from getting any like calluses or blisters or anything like that. I've seen a lot of people use this. Um, basically, you can just wrap any really smooth perches that aren't ridged or have any like formations in them just to make sure that your bird's feet don't get hurt. I will be using this on a PVC perch, I have a feeling, um, because a lot of people use this to wrap PVC perches that they make at home. I really want Patrick to make me one eventually. Obviously not right now because I don't need it yet, but if and when I do, this is really great to wrap perches with. Also, my new cage came with a couple dowel rods, which I have not installed and I probably won't, but if I wanted to, I think I could always wrap these around it. Probably won't last long because I'm sure that she'll poop all over this, but like, I don't know. It's just something you can do. So I did get a pack of this like two months ago and I wanted to show it to you guys and the colors are really pretty. <sighs> There's that. <laughs> all right, the next thing that I got is two of these Greywood Manor avian teas and i'm sure you guys are like what the heck is that i've never seen that before um so basically on instagram i follow probably like a hundred instagram bird accounts and a lot of the bird accounts that i follow swear by these avian teas this is a company i'm not sponsored by them i've also never used these so please understand i'm going off of recommendation here but there are a lot of Instagram accounts that have birds and they basically use these teas. These are avian safe 
bird tea. So these are basically dried flowers and herbs and things like that. They are not caffeine. You don't have to worry. It's not that kind of a tea. It's avian safe tea, basically. I've heard that Greywood Manor is a great brand. These also have a two year shelf life. So I was okay with buying them right now. Obviously I'm not buying pellets and treats and stuff because I don't have my bird yet, but these have a two year shelf life because they're dried. So I felt safe buying these. I was like, that's fine. I'll go through them. It's not a big deal. I also got the smaller packages, not the huge ones, because I wanted to try two different ones. So this one is the Clean and Pure, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, on the website, this is the one that basically can clear your bird of any toxins that they maybe have ingested or anything. Obviously, I may be incorrect on that because I'm not a professional at the website or like all the different tea blends, but I believe that's the Clean and Pure and that's what this one does. And I think the reason that I chose this one, again, this was like a month ago, but I think the reason I got this one is because when I was reading through all of the like little tea bios or ingredient lists and what they do and stuff, I remember thinking I could just see myself like feeding my little bird a piece of a french fry or something and then being like, oh my gosh, what if that didn't settle well? What if the french fry wasn't good for you or whatever, even though I'm sure it would be fine, but like then being glad that I had this on hand to like cleanse her system. I don't know, I just told myself that and I really wanted to try it. I also got Serene Tea. This is another blend that they have. Um, oh, I guess I should tell you what this one had in it. This one is Barberry Root, Dandelion Leaf, Dandelion Root, Lemongrass, Milk Thistle, and Oregano, and Rosebud. So that is the Clean and Pure. And this one is the Serene Tea. And I believe this one was just a calming tea. So like if you have a bird that's really like maybe hormonal, acting out, um, going crazy, you maybe could mix some of this in their chop. That's how I'm gonna use it. It also said that you can brew it. It does have tea instructions on the back. So you can brew it and then I've also seen people sprinkle it on the top of their food and I've also seen, which is how I'm gonna use it, I've seen a lot of Instagrammers who have birds who basically make up their chop for the week and then they dump this tea, the dried tea in it and basically it absorbs all of the excess moisture so it makes your chop last longer and not go like gross and soggy, you know what I mean? So I think that's how I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm really excited to give this a try. If when I get my bird, um, I'm really excited to see if she likes this. I hope she does. Um, obviously, I'm going to use just a little bit to like get her used to it, see how she reacts to it, see if she likes it. Obviously, I'm not going to go dumping a whole bag into her chop, but I really wanted to give it a try. I've seen so many good reviews of this stuff on birds. They also make some for if your bird is a plucker. They make all different kinds. So not sponsored, but they are on Instagram. Check them out if you have a bird and you want to give it a go. Um, I think it's just a really good addition to chop. The next thing that I got is actually a really big bag. So I may not show you all of these because they're mostly all the same, but I am going to show you what I got. So I follow a bunch of bird Instagram accounts. I already told you guys that. That's where I get like all my ideas and stuff. But I basically saw that at the Dollar Tree, they have these really good containers that can hold bird seed and treat and stuff like that. So I actually went and bought a bunch of them and I actually follow one little page on Instagram and I believe it's Mar Marlene Zoom Creations and she has two little green cheeks and they are so cute. One of them's name is Razzle and she has a video of Razzle opening these like he likes to click these open and he knows how to get his pellets out and I just freaking thought it was the cutest thing ever and she told me that she got them at the Dollar Tree. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought like a flippin' ton of them. I'm not kidding actually. Like I bought so many. I don't know actually why. I don't even have my bird. Actually, I don't even know that I'll have this many seeds and treats. I have more. Like I just can't hold them all. I bought them in all different sizes. I love the purple. I really hope my little bird will open it because I just, I just think it's so cute. I don't know. I just love everything that they do. I love how mischievous they are. I love that they can like open their containers and they're not supposed to. I don't know. I'm basically saying I hope my bird is naughty. Just kidding. I think she'll be sweet. I almost forgot to show you guys one of the most important things that I got. And I actually got this before I got all that other stuff. Um, and this was something that I've been wanting for such a long time. And it took me a really long time to find a set that I love. But I actually got new cookware because it's really important that you use safe cookware with your birds, obviously. So you have to get cookware that is not non-stick. It has to be PTFOA and PTFE free. And it's really important that it has to be both of those things. And there's obviously lots of different types of cookware you can get. But I wanted to show you guys mine because it is my favorite cookware I've ever had. It's beautiful and I'm so excited. Okay. So it's really heavy, but this is the set that I got. This is actually by Pioneer Woman and I got it at Walmart. Yes, I did. It is beautiful though. This is actually the Floral Dahlia Collection by Pioneer Woman from Walmart and it is this beautiful royal blue. I've been using this set for over a month now and it is holding up so well. I've had no issues. 
there are no scratches inside obviously i do take really really good care of this set because it is ceramic coated now obviously not all pots and pans that are ceramic coated are going to be good quality and things so you're going to have to do your research and be really careful but ceramic coating is safe for birds it is technically a type of non-stick but but it is ptfe and ptfoa free so it is completely safe for birds and i made sure i looked on the box the instructions the website i did my research so this is one of the pots that i got you can see it has the dahlias all the way around it it's so beautiful very girly i really love it it's also holding up really well i've been using them for over a month now and they're doing really great there's no scratches or anything i will say i do baby this set i don't allow it to be put in the dishwasher i only use soft bristle things to clean it i only use wooden or plastic utensils in them no metal whatsoever and mostly wooden um, i'm very very delicate on them also you have to be careful with how you heat these up because they are not non-stick so basically getting them warm before you put the food in on a low setting and heating them up slowly to a higher temperature does a lot better than just clicking it on nine on high and then you're gonna mess up the you can mess up the coating you can burn your food it's just like a whole thing so i find that raising the temp on it slowly and cooking food at a lower heat setting much like you would with like uh, stainless steel and things like that I find that that works really well with these and I'm having no issues, no staining, no cracking or anything. So I love this set. I highly recommend a really good ceramic set if you are looking for some bird safe cookware. Um, and yeah, I really like the Pioneer Woman. So I can say that I'm very, very pleased with this set, but I'm sure you guys are so excited and ready to see the cage. I'm excited to show you guys the cage. So are you guys ready? Are you ready? All right guys, here it is. This is my beautiful cage. I have been wanting to show you guys for so long. It is about five feet tall. I'm five foot, so it's probably about my height. Um, it's gorgeous. So I'm gonna tell you guys a detailed tour of the cage and everything. I'm just gonna tell you guys the specs and the brand right now. And then whenever I do my cage setup and tour and go into detail about everything that goes on with this cage, um, I'm going to do that in another video, but I just wanted to show it to you guys today because I don't want this video to run too long. So as you can see, the cage is a scroll top. There is actually a latch at the top here that opens up the top of the cage. So you can actually fold it out this way and this way, and you can actually put a dowel rod up there and it can be a top perch. So that is what this type of cage is. So this is an HQ flight cage. It is 28 inches wide, so it is over two feet wide and it is 18 inches deep. It also has four feed bowls and five doors total. So it has a door up here, which you can utilize for anything you want. And it also has four feed bowls down here on both sides. I absolutely love that. It also has a flap right here at the bottom, which you can lift up in order to take the seed trap or your newspaper out, whatever you need to do. And also this is on rollers, so it slides in and out super easy, love that. And then it also has a tray on the bottom, which you can see here for your storage and stuff. And this cage is really, really tall, which I love because my cats cannot reach it or see into it. This is an HQ flight cage. Like I said, I'll have more details in the description down below. And I'm going to go into so much more detail on this cage in another video. So because it's so big and really tall and wide, it's kind of hard to get the whole cage in frame. But this is basically the living quarters of the cage. And you can see it's a really good size, like... I'm standing beside it. It's over two feet wide. I love that. It does measure 28 by 18, so it is a really big flight cage, and I think it's wonderful. I absolutely love this cage. It has 3 8 bar spacing, so it's small bar spacing, safe for cockatiels, conures. I have seen a female Senegal actually kept in a cage like this because it is a larger cage. I've seen Senegals kept in them. Um, I probably wouldn't go any bigger than a Senegal or a Myers, maybe a small poi. I wouldn't go any bigger than that personally, but I think for anything a Senegal and smaller, this cage is amazing and I really love it. And it is by HQ and I will have the um, specific specs down in the description below. Unfortunately, because this cage was so hard to get and so hard to find, it took me over a month to actually even get it shipped to me. And I will literally go into so much detail and tell you guys exactly what happened, how crazy that was and everything. I'm gonna go over all the details of this cage everything in another video because that would just be way too long of a video for this haul this is just supposed to be a light haul showing you guys everything i got um but i love this patio door here literally it's my favorite thing about the cage it was one of my non-negotiable features that i wanted love it love the store it's really nice so 
yeah, I'm going to go into detail on all of it in a future video. And then also in that same video, we will be setting this cage up. So I'm going to go over everything, set it up for you guys in another video. But I hope you guys like it. I wanted it so bad. I did get the platinum color, so it's a really light, pretty silver. I just absolutely love it. And I hope you guys do too. And I'm so excited to finally have it. I hope you guys love this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my birdcage. If you have any opinions about anything that I bought, if you have heard anything, if you have heard someone say that they tried this tea and their bird swung it and they hated it, if you heard that, I don't even know, like you don't like, whatever. If you've heard anything, I love your guys' feedback. I love your opinions. I'll leave them all down below. I read everything. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys love my cage. I really love it. And yes, a lot of you guys asked me on Instagram when I mentioned I was getting a cage, you guys were like, didn't you build a custom cage? Yes, I did and I have it still. It's in storage. I love my custom cage, but there is one huge problem with it. There was some metal mesh that I wanted to put on the back of it just for ventilation. I wanted more ventilation. You guys told me I needed more ventilation. I listen, I hear, I read, I understand. And I really wanted to implement that. The problem is, is that stainless steel mesh wiring is like $200 a roll. Like I looked online, I called different construction companies and stuff. And like, I looked, I looked so hard to find an inexpensive mesh wiring that was stainless steel that wouldn't rust or anything and that wouldn't hurt the bird that I could put on the back of the cage. And I literally could not find any that was under 200 to $250. And honestly, my cage costs less than that. Like just buying a real big bird cage costs less than that. You know what I mean? So I couldn't justify it. So yes, I love my custom cage, but it's not completed and I can't justify spending that much on stainless steel mesh. You know what I mean? So it was kind of a whole thing. I gave up looking and I just moved on. I just moved on because I felt like that was the best thing to do. And I love this cage. I'm so happy I found it. I hope you guys love it too. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave it down below and I will definitely try to answer them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Be kind. Bye.